So today, guys, we're going to be diving into another build, and I think a lot of you guys are going to enjoy this one. Hold on. We'll get it. Let's get this guy real quick. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Yep. Watch out here. But you guys saw that. Wait for this to be done. We'll come around the other side. Bam. 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 Thank you, ma'am. Oh. oh my Jesus. This isn't even fair. What did I tell you guys? Uh. Where's he at? Where's he at? Pop your head up. Oh, 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 oh baby. Ooh, ooh, don't hit me with that. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna keep that. We need to make room for it. We got one NPC over here, right? Oh, this is going to be easy. We just watch this. One shot. Boom. All right, where's the other guy at? Detecting additional what did I tell contacts. you guys? Seems like they're coming from where? I just want you guys to see it. These are body shots. Oh, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Ooh. What is he doing? I'll destroy it. <laughs> oh, don't do that, please. Please don't. Don't don't revive that guy. What? Where are you going? He ain't running from me. Holy moly. Heavily armored, hostile detected. Wow. This isn't. And if you can't get the headshots, you'll get them sooner or later. GG, boys. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. Well, let's get into the build because I know a lot of you guys probably have a lot of questions and wondering, what was I using? So first off, guys, we are running the specialization, the technician. The reason why I'm doing this is because it does give me one skill tier towards my skills and while it doesn't seem like a lot since i am using the borok shield it does help out now if you guys would like to go with the gunner class you guys can and that's just going to give you a bigger chunk of armor on kill once you guys see what build i was running if you guys haven't guessed it already so what really makes this build work is this pistol right here so i decided to go with the desert eagle right so we got the d50 here we have seven percent weapon damage from the expertise we have 15 percent pistol damage 10 percent headshot damage and then we have that new talent determined now this doesn't come on every it doesn't come on shotguns but it does come on the snipers the pistols so we have determined on here it says after killing an enemy with the headshot your next shot landed on any enemy will be a guaranteed headshot and we can continue to proc this over and over i will tell you if you feel like your symbol the term the term isn't proccing make sure you just swap the gun and then swap back and then it will work and that's what i've been doing now i just have for the optics i put the five percent headshot damage on there yes we are running hunter's fury you guys might say why are you running hunter's fury there's no pistol bonuses here but the way Apex Predator works, this allows for those one shots. And what's even better is we will get some armor on kill. So the two piece is giving a shotgun damage, SMG damage, which we don't need. But the three piece actually gives us 20% armor on kill, 
100% health damage. And that's why I said, if you guys wanna run the gunner class, you can, and then you'll get 30% armor on kill. Now, Apex Predator is why we're able to one-shot. Enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff, and it amplifies our damage against that enemy by 20%. Now, when we kill the debuffed enemy with your weapon, it disorients other enemies within five meters and amplifies weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds. So that means we can stack this up to five times. So that's 25% extra damage on here. So not only do we have the 20% amplified weapon damage um, with Apex Predator once we're within that 15 meters, but we're also gaining an additional 25% once we keep that. So once we hit a control point, you'll notice that we always had to stack up. And that's why we're able to one-shot those enemies. We have weapon damage on here, we have headshot damage, and then we have a headshot damage mod. For the chest piece, we went with the chain killer. Now what the chain killer does is it gives us weapon damage, and then we have a two piece, so we're getting 5% damage to armor. Now we have weapon damage on here, we have headshot damage, we have weapon handling, and I honestly prefer it instead of crit chance because the Desert Eagle is a little bit harder to control. But once you get that first headshot, you get it going, it's, you just have to hit the body, right? So it's easy just to aim, point, shoot, boom, and it's over. So we have 10% headshot damage mod on here, and we have perfect headhunter. After killing an enemy with the headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 150% of that killing blow's damage. Damage is capped to 800%, but remember this is raised to 1,250 if we have headshot damage above 150%, which we will. For our second piece of Hunter's Fury, we have the holster, weapon damage, and headshot damage, obviously. For our third piece of Hunter's Fury, we have it on the knee pads with weapon damage, headshot damage. For the gloves, we have weapon damage, headshot damage, Hunter's Fury again, and that's the fourth and final piece. And for our backpack, we have our second piece of Walker and Harris that's allowing us to get that 5% damage to armor. We have weapon damage on here, we have headshot damage, we have critical hit damage, which you could probably put critical hit chance or weapon handling, ideally because a D50 is definitely very hard to control. And then we have 10% headshot damage mod. Now we have vigilance, increased total weapon damage by 25%, taking damage disables as a buff. But since we are running the Bulwark shield, that allows us to hopefully keep this buff up as much as possible and obviously get the Hunter's Fury going at the same time. If you notice, we have the Borwak Shield. So the Borwak Shield is tier one, so it gives us a little bit better shield health, 67% ex exactly. So we're at 4.6 million. And then I pair that up with the decoy. I think the decoy is really good for those builds, like sniper builds. Like if you wanna throw it out, it definitely helps. You can run whatever you guys want. I've been using the decoy since I've been sniping a lot, and I actually like it a lot, especially you throw it to the side, the enemies focus on it, you get that first headshot, and then it's pretty much over. So for me, it works pretty good, um, but you can run whatever you guys want. If we go take a look at the stats, we're gonna put the pistol on. You'll notice we have 10% crit chance, 55% crit damage, but what really makes the build shine is the 225% headshot damage with 5% armor damage. So that is really what's fueling this build that is actually just destroying and i was actually showing one of my friends we were doing control point not a control point, just regular convoys and holy it was doing the same thing now one thing you need to remember is if you get against those tankier enemies that have helmets right like or or shield those guys might not be able to get one shot so that's where you do need to just remember that you may need to hit them once it's gonna break that helmet and then hit them again and finish them off or just type them a couple times and then continue on. So, but overall, this thing is pretty good. This talent determined, I don't know what's going on with it, but it's been the best thing that's happened since season 11. And I'm glad that it's in the game. Hopefully they don't change it too much if they do change it at all. But yeah, this is the build right here, guys. If you guys have any questions, hey, let me know. Hey determined man start, start farming for those um I recommend if you don't have this talent on either of your sniper rifles or your pistols head over to countdown put pistols on keep farming till you get it same thing with snipers keep doing it till you get it and you guys will thank me later it's pretty cool talent and i'm just excited that there are different ways that you guys can run this build right here with this without having to run some of the more popular exotics like the regular so We'll wrap it up here, guys. Hey, appreciate the support. Appreciate the love. See you guys in the next one. Hey, nothing but skills out.